In 1945, Susan Peters accidentally shot herself. This tragic incident was the beginning of the end of all that Susan held dear, including her career. Now, this video unveils the sick truth about the starlet with the most short-lived career in Hollywood and the unfortunate incidents that led to her end. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Tragedy hit her at the age of seven. Some people may be aware of events that occurred in Susan's life as she was beginning to work on building a career in Hollywood, but even her past holds some untold truths that might surprise you. Susan Peters was born July 3rd, 1921 in Spokane, Washington into a close knit family. Most of her early years were pretty normal. She never for once imagined that anything would happen to shake up the life she had. But the year 1928 came with a lot of harsh occurrences. Susan was just seven years old when she received the news that her father was killed in a car accident. The news left Susan and her entire family devastated. The hopes that they once had melted in the twinkle of an eye and they had to face their new reality. Her family began facing a financial crisis, which led them to live with Susan's maternal grandmother in Los Angeles. Susan was later enrolled in Flint Ridge Sacred Heart Academy to study, but sadly her family's financial crisis didn't allow her to focus on her studies completely, like her schoolmates. Susan's issues outside school greatly affected her performance, but her colleagues in school had no idea what she was passing through. At one point, she even had to take a job in a department store where she worked after school hours to support her mother financially. In a later interview, Susan admitted that her family was so broke that she even had to take on two extra jobs to support them. It was quite unfortunate that she had to go through so many challenges at such a young age. Even when she began picking interest in acting up in high school, she opted for a cooking course because she knew that her family wasn't financially equipped to fund an education in acting. Thankfully, she was able to get a scholarship, which enabled her to study at the Max Reinhardt School of Dramatic Arts. A few days later, she was spotted by a talent scout while she was performing, after which she was given a minor role in the 1940 film Susan and God. Fortunately, Susan was so nervous, she ended up fainting on set. Susan locked herself in her apartment to avoid interviews. Now, the few movies that Susan appeared in showed her viewers the finished product of her inner work and her intensive training, but it wasn't always like that when she started acting initially. It was when Susan began her acting career that she realized that her self-esteem had been greatly affected by her past. The fact that she didn't have a father figure in her life affected her more than she realized. She also felt like she didn't belong on the stage with other talented people because of her poor background. Her other colleagues seemed to come from privileged homes and they had a greater level of confidence than she did. So for the first few years of her acting journey, she struggled a lot with her first minor roles. It was so bad that directors would always complain that she wasn't speaking up while filming. Her lack of confidence also haunted her when she was asked to attend press junkets to promote the films she appeared in. She always found a way to hide in her apartment to avoid the uncomfortable feeling of having to participate in the press junkets. Now, for someone who was aiming to be a star, she really struggled with a few of the basic things that movie stars are required to do. Also, it's very unusual for someone who intends to spend their entire life on camera to be camera shy. Susan ended up working on herself to handle the fame that she desired. She accidentally shot herself. From 1941 to 1944, Susan's career took a dramatic turn. She got signed by Warner Brothers and was selected to appear in over 15 movies over the years. Susan was gradually beginning to take up space in Hollywood as she began to get positive reviews and attention from her viewers. As her career was thriving, she met actor Richard Quine on the set of a movie, and a few months down the line, they got married. Everything seemed to be going well, but unfortunately, her success was short-lived. She didn't see it coming, but her life came crashing down right before her eyes. On January 1st, 1945, what was supposed to be a New Year's celebration turned into the worst day of Susan's life. 
Susan, her husband, and a few family members went on a duck hunting trip in the Kiyomaka Mountains. As they were hunting, Susan reached for the shotgun, but as she was about to pick it up, it discharged right through her abdomen. She immediately began to lose a lot of blood, and her family quickly rushed her to a nearby hospital. An emergency surgery was quickly carried out on Susan, which saved her life, but soon after, she received the shocking news that she was paralyzed from her waist down and she would never walk again. Susan was so devastated, she blamed herself for so long. But her mother was by her side all along, helping her recover. Sadly, nine months later after the accident, Susan's mother died, a loss that affected Susan more than words could explain. Emotional abuse led to her divorce. After Susan's recovery, it became increasingly difficult for her to get roles, and she wasn't okay with the few roles that she was given because they clashed with her ideals as a handicapped person. She began searching for a project that would enable her to truly represent what her life had become and inspire others. A few years later, she finally found a project that she was interested in, which was the 1947 film, The Sign of the Ram. This role brought her fulfillment and garnered a lot of praises, but as she was trying to redeem herself on set, her personal life was falling apart. In the same year, she opened up about her marital crisis and revealed that her husband had been cruel to her for a while. She also claimed that he ignored her often and didn't speak to her for days. All of these were affecting her and she decided to part ways with her husband. Her divorce and her career problems later drove her to chronic depression. When a ray of hope disappears. Despite how difficult things had become for Susan, she still tried to put herself out there. She was later selected to appear in several stage productions like The Glass Menagerie in 1949. She was even signed to a television drama, Miss Susan, which didn't last very long due to her health issues. In 1951, she met the U.S. Army Colonel Robert Clark, who she got into a relationship with. Susan finally found the happiness she had lost years ago and was excited about her future with Robert. Both of them publicly announced their engagement, which stirred up congratulatory messages from fans and colleagues. But her joy did not last long. A few months after the engagement, Robert broke off the engagement. Susan was left feeling devastated and unwanted that was when she began to give up on life. She lost the will to live. Susan decided to move to California to live with her brother in the hopes of getting back on her feet. Sadly, her depression got worse over the next few years of her life. In fact, in August 1952, she told her physician, I'm getting awfully tired. I think it possibly would be better if I die. It was clear that she wasn't interested in living anymore. So for the next few months, she starved herself on purpose, which affected her health even more. Susan had lost her will to live. She lost everything that she once held dear. A few years down the line, she passed away at Memorial Hospital in California as a result of a chronic kidney infection, which was a complication of her paralysis. Susan's life may have been filled with a series of unfortunate events, but her impact will not be forgotten. So which of these facts about Susan Peters got your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.